Hi, I'm Time for Kids Kid Reporter Mae Brennan. Today I'm here at the Jefferson Awards, which honors outstanding public service. I'm talking to U.S. Olympian Lori Hernandez about her awards. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. You're being honored tonight for serving as an outstanding role model for today's youth. What does this award mean to you? This award means a lot to me. It's an honor to even be here and to be accepting it. And I take it as a big responsibility to inspire this generation and inspire younger kids around me. You were the first U.S.-born Hispanic gymnast to compete at the Olympics. Why do you think seeing diversity on the world stage is so important? Um, I think seeing diversity on the stage is important because it shows other kids that it doesn't matter what race or what color you are, you're able to achieve anything if you put your mind to it. You recently became the youngest winner of Dancing with the Stars. What was that like? It was amazing. I mean, there were so many great dancers on there, and I feel like dance and dancers in general are really underestimated. I mean, try, being able to try it for the first time and dip my toes in the ballroom floor, it was really hard. And so being able to win it, it meant a lot. March is Women's History Month. What women in history inspire you? Definitely my mom. I mean, throughout the 11 years that I've been doing gymnastics and every year of my life, she has been there every step of the way. She's my biggest cheerleader and definitely my role model. You have an autobiography out now. I got this, to Gold and Beyond. What message do you hope that it sends to young kids? I hope that young kids are able to read my book and see that I didn't just get the Olympics handed down to me. I worked really, really hard for that position and I had to go through a ton of rough spots such as, you know, having a lot of knee injuries, a wrist injury and, you know, staying inspired and motivated to come back and try it again. So how did you overcome those obstacles? Well, I think also my family played a big role in that. They looked at me and said, you know, we support you, whatever you want to do, if you want to stop and keep going. And I chose to keep going and they had my back every step of the way. What do you think your proudest achievement is so far? Definitely the Olympics and Dancing with the Stars. The Olympics because it was a goal I've had ever since I was really little, about five. And Dancing with the Stars because it was a show that I had always watched. So to even be on there was jaw dropping and to be able to win it was amazing. <laughs> And what message do you want to send to kids in athletics and beyond? I think my message would be to try something new and not to limit themselves. All right, great. Thank you so much again for joining us today. So great to meet you. Thank you.